Now who is this? Come closer and hear my tale of love and sorrow. What does that mean, you ask? Well, soon you will learn the do's and don'ts of young love. <laughs> My mother and I were very close back then. She had recently been diagnosed with a skin disease called Ligma. Ligma could only be removed with major surgery and would be required as soon as possible. Mom, the rash is going very far up your arm. You better not bail out on the surgery. You can't avoid the truth. Honey, I don't need no silly surgery. God heals all wounds. Don't you worry your pinky. Breaky heart. I have to worry, Mom. I'm your son, who runs a successful business based in Seattle selling strange as seen on TV products, making millions. You live here under my roof under one condition that you follow house rules, that you put your well being before your religion. And guess what? Your surgery is at 9 a.m. tomorrow and you are not getting out of it. Baby, somebody said a prayer for me so that I would never have to endure the sin of hospital care. God has a plan for me, and everything happens for a reason! Mom, I can't deal with this idiocy! Yeah. Mr. Horowitz, I just got back from fish market. I was wondering how you would like your salmon cooked. Would you like it baked or fried? You are having that surgery if it's the last thing I do. You're my mother, God Mr. Horowitz... You, you raised me since I was a wee lad. I won't let I you die. I have raised you to love God! You know the words by heart! You know he doesn't want us to go against his wishes! Mr. We are leaving at 6 a.m. No ifs, ands, or buts! Mr. Horowitz! Sissy! She could die without treatment. I really wish that she would realize that God doesn't always work how she wants him to. God has other things to do. Better things. than I thought. Oh. Hey, Peter. Yes, Papa? We require your sleeping serum once more. Right away, Dr. Fabro. Oh, no! The devil's handiwork! No! 
This one's for Billy Ray. <laughs> now don't worry, Mrs. Horowitz. The page should be over any minute now. Well, how long does it usually take to work? I'm not sure. I mean, it usually happens momentarily. I don't know what's happening. I'm a doctor of medicine. I cure liquor. Oh my god! disease that will spread and infect all of us if we don't do something quick. You mean Ligma? Oh, a far worse case of it. One that not even you humans can understand. What do you mean, humans? I'm sorry, Nate. I have to put an end to this. But, my brother, my kid, my blood! My womb mate! Nate, your brother's been dead a long time now. This is an alien. <laughs> 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 Can I get in 
any dessert starting for you tonight? No, thanks. I've got my dessert right here. something I want to ask you, too. Well, do you have any STDs? What? Uh, I mean, uh, what's that behind your ear? <gasps> Yay! <laughs> and the rest is history. Renee, I have something to tell you. Don't tell me you've been diagnosed with Ligma after all these years. Hell no. I have cool guy syndrome. <laughs> I, I actually do have a plate line, though. Uh, all right. This here tubunculus oob should suck the ligma right out of your body. You know, I've never quite seen anybody quote Billy Ray Cyrus quite as much as your mother. I think it may have been a symptom of ligma. You know, Nate, I think it may just be in the heart of a woman. God damn it. I've been a busy man in this life I've lived. I seem to be having deja vu. I'm coming, Mama. You won't be lonely now. Pretty said, don't go. Oh, now I've got you quoting Billy Ray. Don't worry, you'll find someone new. It's time for letting go, Nate. I love you. you guys were ever talking about. I know that all that gibberish meant I love you, and he sure did love you, Nate. Yeah, it does kind of make me feel bad about talking about cool guy syndrome, though. But, uh, would you like to know what the uh, cure for Ligma is? Sure. Well, they just found a rare form of nut in uh, the South African uh, savannah. It's... Ligma! 